Hey everyone, welcome to Beating Crazy Custom Creations. I'm Miss Francis. No one's here yet. I'm going to lay these aside. No, I didn't. Miss Wanda knows, but I don't. I didn't put a message out like I normally do. Miss Wanda knows. Everybody else should know because I always go live at six. Y'all miss me having my fireball. <laughs> oh, you missed. Make some little resin shot cups. You missed out. <laughs> Hi, Margaret. How are you? You saw me take my fireball? <laughs> Busted. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> hi Donna hi Tara <laughs> she said yep you know I'm the fireball queen now <laughs> okay tonight we're going to do some wall hanging plaques and I tried something different today I seen someone else do it but I'm not sure how it's going to work Okay, I had these little, this one says country, and it's painted in pigment with alcohol. And then I have home, and then I have kitchen. Now, and I have these two wall plaques that hang. So, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to pour, pour it in polyurethane because I think what I'm going to do is pour it in polyurethane and then glue them to the polyurethane after, I'm, after it's cured because I'm afraid that if I don't, those colors are going to, I'm afraid they'll ruin. So, and let me know if you can hear me well or if you can't hear me well. Hi, Miss Jeannie. Miss Rhonda's here, Miss Jeannie. Hi, Miss Jeannie. Well, okay, yeah. so what I'm going to do is mix up the polyurethane and pour the wall plaques first. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. I got some blessings this week, so I got to get some blessings in. Hi, Miss Wanda. I got some blessings. Um, This is from... Let me get you down. This is from... Um, Mr. Allen and Miss Jeannie. I got a, another dragon head. And I have the three Hocus Pocus witch, witches. Oh, That's from Mr. Yeah. Allen and Miss Jeannie. Then, from Roseanne's Crafting Corner, I got a, a blessing box. I got a rose, and then I got a hummingbird in the epoxy it, with flowers for epoxy, and she sent me a message. Let's see what her message. Enjoy your gift from Rosalind. And Clements. It's Roseanne's Crafting Corner. That's who it is. And both of those were from her. I think there's another one in here. Enjoy your gift with love from Rosalind and Clements. So, those I have to get ready and put them in the blessing jar. So, I will do that here in a 
soon as I find where my tablet is. Because I got to get Miss... Miss Jeannie and Mr. Allen in there too, so let me get them in there. Hi, Bobby. That's the other dragon head you got. Yeah, I kind of thought after I looked at it and finished it, well, that doesn't look like the one she did. So I don't think it was, it's not the same one, it's a different one. But I like the way it, uh, it finished. It was a matte finish. Hi, Cindy. What I did was, uh, I, after I got done with it, I took some dragging glaze and glazed the top of it and made it nice and shiny. So it looks really good now. All right, let me get these names put in there. I think I still have, I got some more names I need to put in my jar here that I don't have in yet. But these are for the blessing jar. And then I got some names I need to put in my other jar too. I just might as well cut it all up here. That way I'll have some in case I need to put some more names in my... And I already put Miss Pat in there from last week. So, I'm going to write these up and get them in the jar before I forget it. Okay, so... Roseanne's. Grifting corner. Mr. Allen. Miss Jeannie and Mr. Allen. Okay, let me get these put in there, and then we'll get started on that. Yeah, I had a I had a shot of fireball earlier, and Miss Margaret caught me. <laughs> she said, "I saw that." <laughs> okay, let me put these in the blessing jar. And I was digging around trying to find some E6000. Got three tubes. I'm lucky if I can find one tube. Okay. Let me get my gloves on. And we'll get started mixing this up. Now, I did not fill this with alcohol, so I don't know how much it's going to take. And I showed these earlier. I painted these with pigments and alcohol. Country and home and kitchen, which is what's going to go in the on the wall plaques here. You can't hear me good, really. I mean, I think my microphone's turned up as far as it'll go. I don't. I don't know that I can turn it up any higher. I'm going to have to get me a bigger, stronger microphone, I guess. I don't understand, but I have a lot of people who said they can't hear. When you start doing sign language. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do sign language, so you're in trouble. <laughs> you can put on the captions. Hi, Miss Roseanne. Thank you so much for your blessing blessings. I can't wait to see you get back in your craft room. I'm sorry that you're having problems with your legs and your back. 
Sounds fine. I don't know. Everybody now Jeannie's saying this cutting in and out, which I don't know if I if I click on this microphone down here, if I can turn the volume up. No, it says mute. I don't want to mute it. All right, let me turn it and get it a little closer to me and see if that's any better. I don't hear that. I don't know. I'm just telling you what people are saying. They're saying they can't hear me, so I don't know what's going on. All right. Let me get A and B up here. Uh, I did I that. Fine. I did that, and I don't. Did what? I don't. What do you need? I don't like that. I need some cuts with measurements on it because I like to write the measurements on the mold so I know the next time I do them how much it takes. So I'll just write A and B on here and use them. Well, Miss Miss Rosie, if it sounds good to you, then I'm doing good. <laughs> as far away as you are, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with it. All right, so we're going to use polyurethane. I'm beginning to like using polyurethane more and more. Now, yep. Cindy says it sounds good, so I don't know. Could be something on their end. I don't know if it was on their end or they were. I don't know what the problem was. Um, let's see. I'm going to try eight ounces. Um, it may not be enough, but I'm going to mix up four, of, pour four of each. Oops. Come on, okay, pay attention. It was that show. I... <laughs> <laughs> She's a drunk epoxy driving. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I can't get. Hi, David. It's Miss Cindy's husband. His name is David, too. Aww. Okay, so I've been liking the polyurethane resin because that way you can finish your project with everybody. Everybody gets to see it. When it like it actually sets and yeah. is complete? Yeah, in 10 minutes oh, or nice. less. So I like that. And I've not had any problems with it, so. All right, I think what I'm going to do is get me some kind of. Shimmer. I want some kind of shimmer here. Do I need to move? Nope. Can you get out of your way? Move, get out of the way. Nope. I would say move. Get out of the way, bitch. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I got... Uh, let's try. No, because I'm doing red. So I think I do the shimmer red. Because I painted the... I painted the home in the country in red. So I think I'm going to use the shimmer red. And put it in part A. So it'll have some a little bit of shimmer. I absolutely hate these things. And you're trying to open them with gloves on. Do not need a you you probably do, but tell you the truth. Um let me turn my air purifier on. Um, tell you the truth, I don't smell anything from the, I smell more from regular epoxy I than I do it. the, than I do the polyurethane. And because I'm not around it all the time, I don't smell it. Yeah, see, Rhonda's not around it all the time and she doesn't smell it. So yeah, you really should, don't do what I did. You really should wear a PPE mask. Don't do as I do, do as I say. Yeah. Don't do as I do here. Okay, we're going to put some... Yeah, I'm surprised. I'm not choking out or anything. I mean, you smell more acrylic when you go to get your nails done than what I smell right yeah, now. Yeah, you're not... I don't smell it. Mm -mm, I'm not around and it. There ain't nothing wrong with my nose. So, 
I don't smell it. Ooh, I do see a little bit of red in there. In the part A. I just got to get all the lumps out of it. Yeah, there's a red shimmer in it. Is that and it has a little bit of a smell. If I'm right over the cup, I can smell it. Did you put the color in? or I it? put, no, I put. Uh, oh, it's shiny. I put uh, diamond dust shimmer red. Oh, it's pretty. So, because there's red in the, in the lettering there. And I don't know. I, I tried it. I have painted with the alcohol and the pigments before on stuff. Like and, it, and it works fine. But I don't want to take a chance on it bleeding in the, this cup out. Because I know that will hold eight. All right. Let's pour part A in. Miss Wanda, did you get your uh, your little cake holder put together correctly? Did you get a bigger hole drill for it? Because it was so pretty, it would have looked even prettier together. So I just wondered if you found a different drill bit and got a got it drilled bigger. I'm pretty sure that eight ounces is not going to be enough. I can smell it if I sit there and put my nose over it, but my air purifier is running. Doors open. It's pretty ventilated in here, so I'm not going to worry about it. All right, let's get this stirred. So I can get these poured. Whoops. I freaking. God bless it. I spilt it. Man. Doing a lousy job here. All right. Let's get you mixed. All right. I don't know how much it'll take. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Let's pour this one first. I don't want to cover my nibs up either. I don't want to do. I don't want to have to drill. Okay, it's uh, running to the other side here. This part not going to be enough. Nope, it is not. I have to mix up a little bit more. Yeah, I have to mix up a little bit. And I got while you're trying to dang it, stick your finger in it, Kay. I'm trying to scoot it over because it's it's running to one side more than the other. So let me just. Yeah, I don't want that much. Just enough to hold it up so it doesn't overflow on that end. All right. Let me mix up another, I don't know. What is that in my mold? Dang it. No, but I don't want it in there. All right. Yes, it does, Roseanne. It does give it a pretty glow. Good evening, Michelle. It does give it a nice shimmer. So I really like that. 
Don't touch it. You get that stuff on your hands. Is it like super glue? <laughs> yeah, it'd be it'd be pretty sticky. You get it on your hands. We're gonna repair these nails that Emily did. <laughs> I don't know that I'll repair your nails. Might uh, break yeah. your hands out. Emily did these for me. Might break your hands out. I don't think it'll repair your nails. All right. I'll put some more. God bless it, Kay. I can't do nothing tonight without making a big mess. I only have one shot. Come on. Jeez. This one here, I don't like to put the lid on it all the way because it gets You stuck. know, when God created the world and it, and he looked and said it was good, he didn't give us the details and explain to us that the moon is part of it. Yeah, <laughs> it is okay. it's definitely part of it. And it's okay to make a mess. <laughs> I definitely make messes all the Whoa, there we go again. At least it didn't end up on my clothes like it almost did last time. Yeah. It did. If I hadn't had an apron on, I'd have been screwed. Come on. Get the paper towel. Make sure it ain't running everywhere. Oh, dang. <clears throat> Bless me. Okay. Yeah, he so, left out the notes of messiness. Let's put some more shimmer in the A. I see part the other one starting to cure right now. I turned the volume down. There we go. Yeah, it's starting to cure already. All right, stick. Yeah, I probably shouldn't use that stick because I already stuck it in part A and part B. So I don't want to use the same stick. Don't want to cross contaminate it. All right, I'm mixing up another. Yeah, probably four ounces. Stacy, the uh, crafty cat lady says, Hi, Miss Francis, and all. I'm watching, but not in a place that I can chat easily. Hi, Miss Stacy. It. Oh, what the heck? I'm gonna say that's why I tied my hair back. I don't know how that hair got in there. That one's white. Turn white is it supposed to? Yep. So do you have to wait a little while before you put the fire uh, in? Yep. I have to wait till it cools off before I can put anything on it. Oh. It'll have to cool down first. But this one is not. It's not filled all the way. But I kind of. Kind of might need a little more. In the other one. I don't want to put it up that high though. That's too high. I need this other smaller stick. There. That might work. Because this one is not full. Yeah, I give up on this stupid table. Nothing's ever level. Really, 
kind of ticks me off. Cynthia. That one needs a little more there. Hopefully it'll be okay. I gotta get some more poured in here. Alright. I got a little left. I'll pour it in my skull before it sets up. Because it's getting warm. with the yeah I think it's better now at least I didn't cover the nebs up I was worried about doing that because you know sometimes that happens you're gonna smell this alcohol more and you're gonna smell that all your thing yeah, I don't smell anything you can smell the alcohol after a while when I get done cleaning everything, I need to do something about these bubbles here. I got some bubbles and I don't want bubbles. I don't want no bubbles. Part of that's from when that piece of hair was in there and I pulled it out. Has the black color European doesn't come out in the US yet? I don't believe that the black has I did see something black on I did see something black on uh, Lutz Resin's website. I really did. But I don't I don't remember and I can't remember what it's fast cure or there was something blacklisted on their website. Because I just watched uh, Miss Carla today. And she done some painting with some painting epoxy from Let's Resin. And so I sent Miss Bessie a note telling her I'd like to try it. I'd like to do a video on it. So we'll see if they send me some. Cause that was pretty cool. She did a coaster um, and painted it like stained glass. Ooh. And it, was, it turned out pretty cool. So I'm thinking I'd like to try it. We just wanted to make cabbage and cornbread. Mm. Yep. Sounds good, Miss Wanda. Take me more than, take me at least eight hours to get there for dinner. Ah. Cynthia said she ordered some of the black resin <clears throat> from Let's Resin. She, she'll get it tomorrow. Cool. Let me know how it works, Miss Cynthia. Because I haven't ordered any yet. I, uh, I don't know. I just... Hadn't ordered anything from them recently other than polyurethane. <laughs> I know I'm more than welcome, but it'd take me a while to get there, Miss Wanda. All right. <laughs> take me a while to get there. I'll drive. Then we won't want to leave. If she, she's in Florida, right? Nope. She's in Mississippi. Oh, I thought she was in Florida. Nope, she's in Mississippi. The weather's about as crappy as ours. Some of them are in, a lot of them are in Idaho, Ohio, and Oklahoma, New Jersey, California. So I'm sure their weather's not not much better than ours. Me typing in your trick. Hi, Miss Cynthia. Now, oh, you got an order in for a black let's resin. 
Let me know how it works. I'll have to, I might have to get me some. I mean, I could have technically probably colored this more, but it doesn't really matter to me that it's white. They're wall plaques, so it doesn't matter. Hey, Cynthia, I'll come to Arizona. I want to go there anyway. <laughs> Arizona is 60 degrees. Must, Heck yeah. Must be nice. Yeah, we're at, we were at 12 when I came over earlier. Uh, we're really uh, now. I don't know, but we ain't there, I'm sure. Yeah, cabbage with potatoes and smoked sausage sounds good. Sounds good. I forgot to take something out. I was going to make some goulash. But I forgot to take some meat out. So I guess I'm not making it till tomorrow. <laughs> oh, it's 13 in Ohio. Man, it's probably about the same degrees it is here. What part of Ohio? Where are, you at? Where are you at in Ohio, Tara? Oh, you ordered it before Christmas? Yeah. Wow, that blacks must be popular. She's giving you a one to give me you your email. Yeah, she for a recipe. Yeah, the white, the white stuff, white, refried stuffed peppers. Hi, Mr. Allen. It's zero down. degrees right now there. Ooh, sucks to be you. Hey, <laughs> we're supposed to get like down at below eight. Uh, Miss Tara's in Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay. Goulash, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I make I make my goulash with Italian sausage. I don't use hamburger. Now Miss K's got a bomb. What is that? The chicken uh, one you make. I make a tomatillo chicken Ooh, stew. Yeah, that is fire. <laughs> Rhonda loves that. I love it too. It's it, actually it's a Weight Watchers recipe. It's delish. That I got when I was on Weight when I did Weight Watchers. Hi, Miss Carla. One, I'm copying down your uh, email. Maybe. <laughs> the pin's not the, the pin guts not working. It's regular epoxy. It's not polyurethane. She's saying that the Miss Carla's saying the black is epoxy, not polyurethane. Epoxy. I I make. I usually overmake. I make a big pot. I make a big pot of goulash and I usually really overmake it so I end up eating it for days. But you mm -hmm. know what? I like that. That way I don't got I don't have to cook a bunch. I did the same thing when I made me a pot of chili recently. I think I had to eat it for a week. But I don't have a problem with leftovers. Most people don't like leftovers, I but I don't have a problem with leftovers. Goulash is one of my faves. Goulash and the tomatillo chicken stew. The Weight Watcher one. It's good, too. Yeah, I love leftovers, too. Mm -hmm. That's why I never have to throw any leftovers out, because I always make sure I eat them up. Things are usually better the next day anyway. Yep. Everything has time yep. to marry. The chili was better the second day than it was the first day. So, Yeah, boy, that's heating. It's heating quite nicely. If you're cold, just hold your hand above here. It's heating up quite nicely. <laughs> I had some, I had a big welcome. 
um, that I wanted to put in there in the little plaque, but it was actually too big. It did not work, and I think I probably painted the wrong side of this, but I hope not. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, I, I really wanted to put the welcome in one, but I couldn't do it. <laughs> me too, Miss Roseanne, me too. I do too. Yeah, chili is always better the second day. Hubby is making chicken, apple, gouda, sausage, black beans, waffle fries for dinner. Oh, sounds yum. Hi, Lisa. I don't know. I, um... I just have my my faves that I do a lot of. Like I like I like the I like chicken fajitas or chicken quesadillas. I eat those a lot too. My son bought me one of those little quesadilla makers from the thrift store, and man, I'm telling you, it makes pretty good it makes pretty good quesadillas. But I bought chicken this time when I went to the store because I wanted some more chicken fajitas. I eat more chicken and I'd say hamburger uh, sausage, but I don't eat a lot of fish, really. I got tuna fish, but I'm not real fond of tuna fish. No, I have a tuna fish salad that I make, uh, not like normal tuna fish salad. I add peas and carrots to it with onions, and then I'll put that on top of a bed of lettuce. This fire. Yeah. I and tried that, to make some tuna, ca tuna fish casserole one night for Miss Jeannie when she was here, and she said, I don't do hot tuna. <laughs> Jeannie? Yeah, a lot of people don't. She said, now I don't do hot tuna. When I lived so. in Florida and we went to, I think it was like a hibachi restaurant or something. I don't know. They made like fresh tuna that's not like in the can that's sliced. It tastes completely different than yeah. canned tuna. Yeah. Miss Cynthia good. says she's like allergic. She's allergic to fish. Yeah, I only eat. Man. I eat cod tuna. That would kind of that would, salmon. That would suck. Being allergic to fish because I like tilapia and other stuff. I love spicy food, don't like tuna though. Maybe it wanders. She's got a pukey face on there. She don't like tuna though. I don't do a lot of tuna. And, and after my husband passed, man, I, I can sworn I found about 10 cans of tuna fish. <laughs> My I'm like, when did he, when were we supposed to eat all this tuna fish? When Just my, the two of us. When my kids were little, they would not have anything to do with tuna. They're like, that's disgusting. We don't like tuna. We don't like fish. And I'm like, look, it says chicken of the sea. Cause all they would eat was chicken. Do you know every one of them love tuna today? <laughs> They'll eat tuna. Cause I told them it's chicken of the sea. It's not fish. <laughs> chicken of the sea. Lying to those kids. I did not now. lie to them. The well, kids said says, chicken of the, the sea. Well, yeah, the can clearly said chicken of the sea. Sure did. And now every one of them love it. <laughs> <laughs> my kids didn't really. I think the only thing that my kids really hated was pot pies. Really? Absolutely hated pot pies. I love pot pies. Oh, I taught Gabby how to make a homemade, I don't eat pot pies, 